Alright, they asking for the queen. I'm a bad bitch, she's a savage. Look, 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 look while I turn. No comparison. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Aisha. This is Beautiful and Bougie. On this channel, I typically make videos pertaining to beauty content, my business, beautifulbougie.com. Relaunch had to be set back, but maybe by the time this video starts getting a little bit of traction, my website may be up. So I'll leave the link down there in the description box down below. Today, I'm going to talk about my Spring Tech birth control experience. I talked about this on my main account Aisha Nache if you know from up there <laughs> or if you've seen that video um I don't know I've had a lot of young ladies hit me up literally since I made those first two videos I think I've made almost three videos I'm gonna link that whole playlist down in the description box because it has been almost two years since I've been off of birth control and I just have to say I experienced a lot I feel like on that pill and I really don't recommend it to anybody so if you're thinking about getting it or you've gotten it and you just want to share your story down in the comments please do that also if you're going to comment and you don't feel comfortable or you just want to talk about your birth control experience on there or just you know do some girl talk you can go to my main instagram account not my business account at underscore aisha and shay i'll leave that in the description box as well so you guys can go and talk with me on there because i know a lot of ladies hit me up on my last videos that i made about that on the aisha and shay page let's get into this video <laughs> i took sprint tech in 2019 because I really just didn't want to be pregnant by the person that I was like dealing with and it was almost a six to eight month span that I was on that pill and I have to say this I told my doctor I didn't want to implant I didn't want anything they had to cut open cut me open in if stuck up in me or I didn't want like a surgery or nothing like that to get it or I didn't want to have to pull something in and out of me every few weeks I didn't want that and she was very understanding so with that being said i was able to get sprint tech birth control and i know they have another name for it but that's the name that was on my prescription it came in like this 30 day count and the first like three or four rows or something i think it's three rows you get all of the actual pills it's going to actually you know be effective and then you have a full week the last row was like your placebo pills to give you your period and uh, I know on the pill you can skip a period if you want to skip a period and I know that was kind of confusing to a lot of young ladies about skipping the period like is that good should I be skipping my period I did it a few times and I don't know if that was the reason why things happened to me later on while taking the pill but I'm just gonna break it down to you now so my first month on birth control I well with sprint tech I was so freaking nauseous it was ridiculous like I could not get it right <laughs> and when I had to take the pill once a day I was cool because I was taking the door at the same time like I would take it right before I went to bed because I was watching a lot of girls videos on YouTube when I got prescribed the pill and a lot of girls was like I'll take it the night before bed because of like the symptoms that you feel like you could feel I was so nauseous it was ridiculous like I could not get it right I was trying to do the whole ginger ale sprite thing or whatever it's called Mountain Dew thing to try to help your nausea go away and you know, like the nausea stuff go away I took some prenatal pills just to help me stop being so nauseous nothing worked it kind of faded out after like the second month but month what who chow nausea stuff was serious now one thing i did enjoy while being on it the first few months the first two months my period was only three days and i just recently got off my period again i'm not on this birth control no more i don't know if i said that in the beginning i'm not on this pill no more <laughs> and y'all about to know why um by month three my periods kind of had regulated out and i was only on three days like i would bleed for three days and then that was it and i was cool you know no problem i enjoyed the three-day period child i enjoyed that but then in the midst of that time the dude that i was talking to who kept trying i feel like was getting me pregnant that was even the reason why i got one birth control was because i felt like he was going to get me pregnant so once i got on it i realized i was having very bad stomach cramps <laughs> and I didn't know what it could have been caused from so 
though it was like regulating my period to where I was only having three day periods, I had really, really bad stomach aches. By month three, four, I felt like I had gained weight, but I was going through a lot during the time that I was on the pill. I don't know if that was because what I was going through in life was making me gain the weight or was it the birth control pill making me gain weight? I was not sure. So when I was commenting to you guys back and forth with the other two videos that I made and I was telling y'all like, I don't know if it was because the birth control or was it the weight and because I was like going through stuff. But I was really upset that I had gained like damn near 10 pounds on this pill. And <laughs> that was crazy. So I had a 30 day, almost 20, I think it was like 28, between 28 days and 30 days of a cycle. Um, I tried to do the whole skip up period thing. And then the next month I had bled because I took the placebo pills and then I kept bleeding. I bled for like 28 to 30 days. I bled so long. And I went to the doctor and everything. She tried to do a pap smear while I was on this long extended period for 30 days. And I was like, what is really going on? <laughs> and I don't know if, like I said, I don't know if it was because the dude that I was with was throwing my birth control pills in the trash. Like he would throw random days in the trash. And if you miss a day on this pill, I think I explained in this part of the video what to the best of my abilities. So though he was, uh, tossing my pills in the trash I still couldn't like get it right because like I said he was tossing random days in the trash but if you do miss a day on this pill you can take like say today's Monday you can take Monday's pill and Tuesday pill to like I guess double up on this the birth control in your body but the fact that he was throwing my pills in the trash I couldn't do that because he was throwing my pills in the trash and it would be on random days like say today's Monday he would throw away thursday or he would throw away sunday or saturdays you see what i'm saying like it was hard for me to do that so i feel like what he was doing contributed to my long extended ass period just know you can have a long ass period and i know a lot of other women had experienced the same thing i had experienced when it came to the long extended bleeding now once the bleeding did regulate and it kind of controlled itself i was like what the fuck was that worth it like <laughs> Did I not get pregnant on birth control on Sprint Tech? Yes, I didn't get pregnant. I did constantly kept thinking I was pregnant because of the birth control. Um, needless to say, I just felt like that pill put me through a lot. Being nauseous, like I could wake up, oh, I'm fine, I'm good. And then boom, and it hit me. <laughs> um, now, the way I took my pill, supposed to start on Sunday because it starts from Sunday Sunday to Saturday and then you go to the next row so each Sunday you're basically starting in the new row and I don't know like sometimes I wouldn't miss a pill but I would miss the time that I would take the pill and I know that I see something on YouTube saying that if you was taking you know a birth control pill that has estrogen and progesterone in it that you did not have to take it at the same time so once I found that out I was just taking that pill whenever I wanted throughout the day like if I took it at 2 o'clock p.m. Um, on a Monday on Tuesday I won't take it until like I don't know 10 p.m. Uh, horrible <laughs> so I definitely say put yourself into a schedule like put a little timer or, or alarm on your phone or something so that you can be notified when you need to take your pill because it's stupid to try to be on birth control on a birth control like this where you're taking the pill and you're not taking the pill like on a schedule it's always good to have a schedule so you remember to take it even if you don't remember to take it and you go back to open up your pad and you be like oh snap I didn't take this pill you can go out and take it <laughs> but I feel like I missed so much or I probably should say so much more but like yeah I had the extended period I had stomach cramps it made my period all over the place and then it regulated itself my period did stay for three days and that was it once I did finally get off of the pill I felt like it took two months for my period to be back regular and my regular periods are six days 
Um, I know it's a long time to bleed. Even my doctor said it's a long time to be my gyno, my hematologist. Everybody said it was a long time to bleed. And I definitely agree to think this is a long time to be bleeding. And I can't see myself trying to stop my period like that again because my whole reasoning on taking the pill was trying not to get pregnant because of the person that I was with at the time. But nowadays, girl, if I get pregnant, I just get pregnant. <laughs> because I'm in a whole nother relationship and chill. That's another story. But I feel like that's all I really need to say in this video. If you guys have any like, any questions, like I said, leave them in the comments or you can um, message me on Instagram at underscore Aisha and Shay. I'll leave the link down in the description box down below. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.